Hello, today I'll be coding a gradient stop animation. This is only doable with CSS in Edge and IE10+. So I'm going to do a cross-browser version, which involves a bit of JS, but not too much. So let's see. We're going to have here a body. We're going to set height, full height. And we're going to set a background, radial gradient. And we're going to have circle here. And then we're going to have an orange. And this is going to be at a stop. Let's say it's going to be something like 5%, but we're going to change that soon. And then we're going to have a gray. So all like this. And one more thing we're going to do here. Margin. Just uh, nothing. Okay, and here in the JS, we're going to have, we're going to change that stop value on click. So I'll click. And we're going to use a request animation frame, a request animation frame on kind of animation. So uh, here we're going to have a request ID, which is going to be null when no animation is running. So um, here, what we're going to do is um, if no animation is running, then we're going to call an update function. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And here also. So we're going to have function update. And within this function, we're going to have a progress k. And this is going to be uh, made up of, here we're going to have a current frame index, which is zero initially. And then we're going to have a constant. And this is the total number of frames. And this is going to be, let's say, 50. So here we increment the current frame index, and then we get the ratio between it and the total number of frames. And the next thing that we're going to do, and this is also going to be a constant. So we're going to set this uh, document body uh, style. So we're going to set property. Um, so what we're going to have is stop. And then we're going to have uh, k times 100. And we need to interpolate this. Uh, so yeah, uh, if we change this to zero, uh, then we're going to have a blob, an orange blob growing from zero to 100%. Now, the thing is, it's not going to grow unless we do a request ID is request animation frame update. So if we wanted to, you know, really grow to 100%. Okay, now we also need to stop this. So uh, if, um, oops, what did I do there? Uh, f modular total number of frames. Uh, we're going to set f to zero, and we're going to uh, have cancel animation frame uh, request ID. We're going to make this request ID null again, and then we're going to return. So uh, this should do it. And now if we click, we're going to have this, and the nasty thing is, as you can see, it changes abruptly from orange to gray. So let's fix this. Oops, mm, that's not what I wanted to do. So um, we're going to have gradient color something. By default, it's going to be a color. So uh, here, let's use these. And here we're going to uh, just uh, set those colors. So uh, this should do it for now. And here we're going to um, reverse those colors. So first we're going to have type. 
uh, and this is going to be 0 when we grow an orange blob and 1 when we grow a gray blob. So we're going to uh, take this again. So we're going to set gradient color 1. We're going to set it to type. Um, actually, this is going to be OK. And then we're going to uh, switch the type. It's going to be 1 minus uh, type. And we're going to have the first color. Uh, and one more thing we're going to have. Nope. Uh, here we're going to set. What the heck did I do? Uh, stop. Wait, wait, wait. The stop, and I'm going to set it to zero here. Okay, so now that I've done this, let's see. Okay, it works. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is set a position. So I'm going to have circle at fifty percent and this is going to be uh, pretty much the same for the y as well except it's going to be y obviously uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this from here collapse this update function and here I'm going to set uh, x and this one is going to be Client x and it's going to be our pixels and let's move this here um, client y okay so uh, this should now do it and yeah uh, this is it for the JavaScript and let's add a sort of a queue that we need to click so we're going to have body um, after uh, after uh, content and we're going to say click um, and let's have a font that's bigger and stuff let's say 25 people minimum units and it's going to be our full height so the line height is going to be uh, the full height of the viewport and we're going to use a cursive font Okay, um, and we're also going to set a text line center. We're also going to have display uh, block. Uh, we're going to set background inherit. Uh, and then we're going to have background clip text. And we're going to just uh, copy paste this uh, and have a WebKit version as well because no auto prefixer adds this uh, WebKit for background clip. Okay, uh, next thing that we're going to do is set color transparent. And now we're not going to see uh, anything for a bit. Uh, before we do this, filter invert one. So uh, this should uh, invert the whole thing. And we're also going to do a uh, grayscale 1. Um, and then we're also going to do contrast 10. So um, yeah, this should do it. As you can see, it all looks nice and the technique behind this uh, contrasting text is in this article which is going to be linked from the description so yeah this is it for today you can find the link to the finished code pen demo in the description and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments or send them on twitter i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more in the future please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description below with a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wish list, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done on the web these days, because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.